In the heart of the magnificent Khmer Empire, circa 1000 CE, there lived a young prince named Suryavarman. His life was intricately woven with the breathtaking architecture, innovative tools, and advanced technologies of the ancient Khmer capital, Angkor. Angkor was a sprawling city that served as the epicenter of the Khmer civilization. Its architectural marvels were a testament to the ingenuity and grandeur of the empire. Suryavarman's palace, nestled within the city's heart, was a resplendent structure of intricately carved sandstone adorned with sculptures depicting epic tales from Khmer mythology. The city itself was a labyrinth of stone temples and structures, most notably the awe-inspiring Angkor Wat, dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. Its towering spires and intricate bas-reliefs told stories of gods and heroes. Suryavarman would often sit by the temple's lotus-filled moat, finding inspiration in the reflection of Angkor Wat's grandeur. Within the palace, the prince had access to a vast array of tools and technologies. The Khmer people had developed sophisticated irrigation systems that transformed the surrounding landscape into a lush and productive region. Suryavarman observed the intricacies of the intricate waterways and reservoirs, understanding their role in supporting the empire's agriculture and sustaining its people. As a young prince, Suryavarman learned the art of warfare and governance. The Khmer military employed advanced weaponry, including powerful catapults and trebuchets, to protect the empire's borders. Suryavarman, trained with skilled archers and cavalry, honing his martial skills with traditional Khmer weaponry, such as the curved sword, the kris. One of the most remarkable tools in Suryavarman's possession was the katar, an advanced plow used in agriculture. This tool, drawn by oxen, allowed for efficient cultivation of rice paddies, the staple crop of the Khmer people. It contributed significantly to the empire's food security and prosperity. Suryavarman also had access to a system of well-organized roads and bridges that crisscrossed the empire. These well-maintained networks facilitated the transportation of goods, troops, and messages across the vast Khmer territory. The roads were engineered with laterite, a durable local stone, and complemented by sturdy wooden bridges. The Khmer civilization's advanced technologies extended to their water management systems. The ingenious construction of the West Beret, an immense artificial reservoir, showcased their hydraulic expertise. The reservoir, spanning over 5,000 acres, served as both a source of irrigation and a reflection of the Khmer's mastery over their environment. Beyond the palace and the city's grand architecture, Suryavarman was immersed in the vibrant cultural life of the Khmer Empire. He marveled at the classical dance performances known as Apsara dance, which narrated stories from Hindu mythology with graceful movements and intricate costumes. Religion held a significant place in the prince's life. Angkor was adorned with numerous temples dedicated to Hindu deities. Suryavarman's faith was deeply intertwined with the empire's spiritual practices, and he would often visit these sacred sites to seek blessings for his people and his reign. Suryavarman's destiny as the future ruler of the Khmer Empire was evident in the way he navigated the city's architecture, tools, and technologies. He embraced the rich cultural heritage of his people, revered the awe-inspiring structures that surrounded him, and recognized the importance of innovation and advanced tools in sustaining the empire's prosperity. As Suryavarman grew into his role as prince, he carried with him the legacy of the Khmer Empire, a civilization that had mastered the art of blending architectural brilliance with technological innovation. The city of Angkor, with its towering temples and advanced infrastructure, stood as a testament to the Khmer people's enduring legacy of ingenuity and culture, a legacy that Suryavarman would one day inherit and uphold 
as a ruler of his people.